I'm Matthew Richardson, Curator of Social History at Manx National Heritage, and here we have another exhibit that will feature in the Manx Museum's forthcoming Military History Gallery. Now this is a medal from the First World War. Most people, when they think of the First World War, tend to think of soldiers in battlefields, muddy trenches, that kind of thing. But in fact, this medal was awarded for service at sea, and not with the Royal Navy. It's called the Mercantile Marine War Medal, and it was awarded to members of Britain's merchant fleet for service in a war zone. Many people don't realise that the crews of the merchant ships in the First World War were a vital lifeline bringing food and supplies to Britain through very dangerous waters. Waters that were patrolled by German U-boats and their loss rate was very high. Thousands of British merchant seamen lost their lives. And this medal was instituted at the end of the First World War to reward and to recognise their service in the war. But this isn't just any Mercantile Marine War Medal. Of the thousands that were issued, a very small number were awarded to women. Again, it's a little known fact that there were female members of staff aboard merchant ships working as stewards or nurses, and these women faced as much danger as the men on those ships. And this particular example was awarded to a woman named Mary Ann Green from Douglas. She was a steward aboard the transport ship SS Hesperian, and when it was torpedoed by a U-boat, she lost her life. 